This video lesson covers the process uh, of setting up a shopping cart service within your website tonight and account on your GoDaddy hosting service. So I'm working from the initial page as I sign in and in my account I go to account matches manager. You see that I have two domains here. Uh, one of them is the fredmiller.me account and the other is one we're using as an example of a uh, of a commercial site that we'll be setting up. Click on that button and now we have the options of things to add and I'm going to go to the quick shopping cart link here and the first thing you do is use this as a source of information on this option. Notice that it gives you all the options that are available to you and the way you can buy this. The one we're going to use is this one, the $9.99 option. But before we order that option, let me show you some of the, the information features at the bottom of this sheet that you'll also be using extensively in your site. Uh, first of all, the How It Work links give you an overview of the process of setting up the shopping cart on your site. Uh, features gives you a list of the capabilities of, of, of this system uh, that you, we won't be using all of these in this course, but as you go along, you might want to uh, develop a, a site of your own uh, electronic catalog of your own and if you do then this is the way that you can can set that up. The tours and examples uh, gives you a access to several other instructional uh, tools. The first one is the video overview. I'll click that link though we won't see that video. Um, this is linked from um, the project page so you can get to it from there as well. Uh, it provides a video overview of the features of the system and the product tour uh, also linked from the project page will be very helpful to you uh, because as you go through I will skip over to design your store. It goes page by page uh, to give you an idea uh, of the process that you can use. So this is really kind of your help system that you can come back to after you've purchased the product as you develop the site. So what we're going to do now is add that to the, uh, to the shopping cart uh, at $9.99 a month. Uh, it tells me of course do I want to can renew my thing you know and, and you go on to your shopping cart the opportunity to add all kinds of stuff to it uh, that I think you've seen before forget all that nonsense uh, and now we have a chance to, to make the purchase and we do that uh, if you make the purchase here uh, then you're set and ready to go and you will build $9.99 for the first month uh, and that's all we need for purposes of this course whether you wish to go beyond that uh, is completely up to you so now I've completed the process, I'm back in my account manager and I'm going to add that feature to the RemyHanna.com domain. To do that I click on the domain to go to the project dashboard, select quick shopping cart to open the dialog box which allows me to associate this account with the order that I've just made and click OK. I then am asked to approve the end user license agreement uh, which I will read thoroughly. I'll be back in just a second. Yep, looks good to me. Uh, this is not accepted practice. And hit accept. So now I have the opportunity to enter uh, information about the account. I supply that information. I hit OK, verify the domain name, it creates the account, and when this is completed I'm ready to start following the instructions that are listed uh, in, the, in, in the help desk that we've just done and that's done from the, the uh, uh, project page. Okay. Uh, so we are now ready to go with the store option that's been added to our uh, regular site that we were using earlier in GoDaddy.com uh, and working with with website tonight. So this completes the video that indicates how you should set up your account uh, and get it ready to edit.